Uh, is it clear sailing now in terms of, of energy prices, or are we once again uh, counting the days till de December and wondering what kind of winter Europe has? Yeah, I think there are still a few risks ahead, right? So you mentioned the European gas crisis, uh, ultimately the Russian embargo as well in terms of supply, and ultimately the concerns around global growth. So that's still ahead. But I think what's clear, and in that way our conviction is building, is the supply side, right? This is a thesis years in the making of underinvestment. And all the evidence here to date is of disappointing production, lack of investment, and just the last few weeks, OPEC willing to cut, potential bid from the SPR at 80, and U.S. producers reducing activity. So if anything, the elasticity of supply now is to produce less with still no evidence of producing more. So you navigate those demand headwinds, macro headwinds first, but the trajectory is clearly higher over the medium term. And I think the challenge, therefore, is that near-term uncertainty. Near versus long-term is, is, is constant with, with what we... Uh, we talk about here. There are pressing near-term issues globally about energy production. Um, are we doing all we can domestically? I, I, you know, depending on which newspaper you read, it, it, recently I've seen that, that permitting and leases and things that were in the works, uh, that, that the long-term um, impact on climate needs to be uh, taken into account, and a lot are going to be canceled based on, on something way into the future. Are we doing everything we can right now to, to produce domestically, Damien? So there's nothing more we could do. I mean, the simplest metric, if you want, is just U.S. drilling activity. And that's now been declining for the last two months. And I think that puts downward risk to U.S. production growth, which is, at this point, the only actual source of production growth at a meaningful scale globally. Now, that's issue on the service side. That's an issue of just macro uncertainty, too low in oil price in our view. Um, on the margin permitting as well, whether it's pipeline, whether it's drilling permits. So how do you solve that? Well, first of all, you need a higher oil price, right? You come back to that simple reality. In terms of investment, you need a greater incentive than now. You know, second, you need investors to come back into our space as well. Now, if you squint, the positive is oil equities are starting to outperform the oil price, but they're still extremely cheap, right? So you need to see a rotation in asset allocation back to what we all consume today, which is still hydrocarbons, right? Those are really the two challenges. Now, how does permitting help? Well, if you think big picture for the next several years, where is all the investment going to have to come from? It is North America, right? Short cycle, scalable resource. We need more pipes on the gas side, more export on the LNG side. So there is that incremental help that needs to come through. But again, first order, we just need higher commodity prices to get the investment through.